Hello, I'm Red Moon. And I'm Blue Moon. And today we're gonna gonna from the long awkward pause in the beginning of the video, I'm Blue Moon. And I'm Red Moon, if you can't tell by my hair. Yeah. And you're a real one, if you could tell we said the wrong names mm -hmm. before that long awkward silence happened. But if you didn't know, we are identical twins. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you can tell, we're not very identical. Very <laughs> and I also know the second thing you're thinking of right now is, do you always have a shrine of your little self in your room? The answer is yes, we always, always have it. You just gotta like admire like these beautiful clowns. Like, <laughs> I just need to look at that picture every day and just think, wow, I'm a clown. I am beautiful. I'm a clown. I am amazing. So if you read the title of this video, you know that we're going to be talking about our twin struggles. And I know we're both aware this is not the biggest problem in the world. It's very there's irrelevant. A, yeah, it's very There's a whole going on, yeah. and this is definitely not important in the world. We know mm -hmm. that. But sometimes you just got to lay it all out. It you just got to complain. Bit. We have made videos like this in the past, but they're OPS. So if you're not into that, like watch it anyway because like why are you gonna yeah. be judgmental i'm just saying <laughs> yeah and but, we're a few years older so we have a lot more experiences to share and a lot more things that we ran into so we're gonna rant about them today so if you don't have a twin strap in and you'll learn some things <laughs> yes hopefully maybe. and if you are a twin maybe you can relate leave some in the comments in the comments below about like your twin struggles or stories maybe you missed some let's begin with the first struggle So this first category of twin struggles is going to be things you run into often. For us, people always ask these very specific questions. We're going to put some of them up on the screen right now. These are commonly asked questions. Yeah. It's always like cashiers yeah. and older people who stare at you in stores, I'm just saying. Like, they're just trying to be nice, but I just don't understand, like, why do you ask someone that very specific question? Like, I don't get it from my perspective. Like, imagine if I just walked up, like, I'm meeting someone new and they're not a twin. I'm like, what time are you born? Right. <laughs> are you older out of like all your siblings? Like are you better than them? Like to answer some of these specific questions on screen, I am the oldest. And you're born thirty minutes like apart. Yeah. I'm taller. That's I'm not a very specific question. <laughs> I'm taller by an it. I'm five eight and Blue Moon's five seven. And also she's sitting on a book. So we're the you same didn't height. Have to expose me like that. So we're the same height. You did have to, you did, she's sitting you on a book. Have to expose she's me like sitting that. on a you book. Didn't have to me like she's that. sitting on the book because we're not the same height. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> of course, when you run into people and they ask you those very specific questions, sometimes they feel the need to talk about all the twins they know in their life, which kind of ends up being depressing sometimes. Cause like, oh, I know a twin that died, or I had a twin that died, or blah blah. blah. And it gets depressing. I don't really know what to say. But sometimes they just be like, my great 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 grandfather was a twin, and they think you, they have like some kind of connection with you. And I'm like, wow, congrats. Thanks, like, oh, you know twins. Wow, wow, it's such an achievement. Like, I don't. What do you want me to say? That like, oh my god, congrats. You're such a hero. Like, I like, don't know. It's kind of comforting being like, okay, this person knows other twins, but also, like, not. I don't know how to feel about it. Like, one time I was at the dentist's office, and, like, the dentist noticed that she was next to me. Yeah. She's like, oh, I see you have a twin. And I was like, yeah. And she's like, my husband's a twin, my great-grandparents are twins. And the whole time she was, like, having stuff in my mouth, she was just talking about twins, and it was low-key kind of painful because, like, I didn't know what to say because I couldn't even say anything, and I just had to listen to, like, her whole ancestry DNA <laughs> kit. Also, we stated sort of earlier, there's a lot of constant comparing. You know, do you and your siblings look alike here compare us right now like are our nose is different are our, our eyes look, different my nose goes up right i think and blue moons it kind of goes down at the end okay you have freckle on your nose i have freckles i don't know blue moon doesn't yeah, have any freckles <laughs> i always like to say blue moon has this um telephone what is that called like a thing that connects around your ear and like goes down to your mouth like, like a... i always say these freckles look like one of those like speakers hello, like, hello. <laughs> our face shapes are kind of different like in these pictures behind us you can kind of tell us apart even when we're younger because we're face shaped i'm gonna be real like i get it when people say they can't tell twins apart yeah because i was looking at all these baby pictures back here like i don't know who's who i'm like mom who's who and she was like i don't know <laughs> so, another thing we run into a lot is let's say we go into a public place or restaurant we sit down we see a whole family go like and then and then me and blue go and then they're like are you twins and i'm like 
Yes. And then they did a thing we mentioned earlier and go, who's older? How far apart were you born? Oh yeah, my stepfather and my brother were a twin. And I'm like trying to sit there and eat my McDonald's like in peace. Like I know they're trying to be nice and I sound really entitled and like bratty for complaining about it, but like, I don't know, it, it's weird. It's, <laughs> it's just weird. weird. Like go ahead and ask questions, like literally don't be afraid. Yeah. But like I'm kind of making you afraid by complaining, <laughs> but like I'm just saying. But actually no, it just blew my mind because we were hanging out with our older brother like a few weeks ago and he literally turned to me and asked like, do people like ask you if you're twins all the time? Or he said something along the lines of that and it blew my mind that he didn't even think that was a thing what happens to me like probably once a week if I go out. Public. He was like, do people stare at you? And I'm like, do you not get stared at when you go out in public? Yeah, I don't want like, to. I don't know. I got always stared at. Yeah, maybe it's my hair or like this outfit. Like, maybe I just like from prison. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> maybe it's the way we dress. And sometimes I'll be walking to a store and Lean Blue Moon be like Loki wearing the same shirt. Like and we don't even realize because we have the same like sense of fashion. Yeah. And then people be looking at me and I'm like, why are people staring? They're so inconsiderate. And then I look and I'm like, <laughs> like oh, we kind of look like a. a Clowns. We look like we clowns. Look, we look like a whole circus. Yeah. <laughs> also, we aren't just speaking from our experience. I have. I'm gonna pull that twin card. I have one twin friend. <laughs> like we're twins like this, mm -hmm. and she's twins like this. Okay. So yeah. she was saying sometimes when she goes out in public with her brother, people assume they're dating. And I'm like, do people have eyes? Out of all of these, this bothers me the most. Is people don't take the time to learn our names. And it doesn't help that like I'm a K-pop stan. I don't know why I'm saying it quotes. Right. I, I never really said <laughs> that before. Foster. So. It, it always bothers me with K-pop when people get into it and they go, how can you ever tell them apart? How you don't know their names? Like, there's too many of them. Like, they all look so similar. Yeah. Like, it makes me annoyed on an extra level because like, I just face time, that like, every day. I hear that all the time. I'm like, I defend them or I just, I just get so extra mad at it because I hear it all the time. And then, like, when people say it about other people, I'm like, oh my god, how can you? Oh, oh. It's just like, you just gotta take the time. Like, people have similar, like, facial features, but you can easily tell them apart if you just, like, use your eyes, right? <laughs> use them a little bit extra hard, maybe? Like, it's really not that hard. Like, and I get it sometimes, like, friends will mess up and say, like, our names wrong. Like, that's fine. Like, honestly, I find it funny because I can just act like I'm ignoring them. Like, you be offended. Like, you just, like me. you just call me Blue Moon and I'm Red Moon. Like, I act like that, but it really doesn't offend me. You might be thinking, if certain people don't take the time to remember your names, what do they actually call you? Um, they resort to calling us the, the twins. twins. I know, like, family members do it just because it's quicker to say, but to some people, they just never le learn your names, they just say the twins, the twins, yeah. twins. Like, most things on this list, it, don't, it doesn't really annoy me, it's just kind of like... Like, yeah. for us, I'll walk down in the kitchen, and my mom will be like, Hey, girls. It's just me. Right? And I'm like, <laughs> I guess I am girls. <laughs> like, I'm not just a girl. Girl. I'm all girls <laughs> in the universe. I guess so. <laughs> so it's just a lot of generalizing. Like I can just show up and people are just like the twins and it's just but on me. honestly, I do that a lot too. Like I have a hard time when I'm writing essays. I always say we or are. Yeah, since we've posted YouTube videos for like seven years, mm -hmm. every time we write a description, we have to say we. So like writing essays is hard because I like I can't speak in first person. <laughs> just because like hard. my years of typing up descriptions for YouTube videos. <laughs> right, this is my conspiracy, okay? Okay. <laughs> I think people keep a list of all the twins that go to their school and put every single twin like on the list mm -hmm. so like people will know me that I don't even know yeah and it'll be like I'll be sitting in class and someone's like oh you have a twin right and then everyone in the room chimes in and they're like yeah I saw them walking or yeah I saw them here like, and then I'm like are you <laughs> are y'all the paparazzi keeping track of where I go like that's not me being egotistic like I just feel watched <laughs> <laughs> or like sometimes I'll be walking in the hallway and I just hear a random person go oh my god they're twins <laughs> yeah Hello. they'll be like are you twins are you twins and they'll be looking but I get it though because I also know all the twins in the school that aren't me so we're really hypocrites at this point <laughs> Alright, so the next category has everything to do with sharing because we share everything. We have to share. We're in a room that we share right now yes. filming this. My point is we have two of the same thing. So mm -hmm. like we have the same bed, but like hers across the room from yeah. mine. When we were little and we wanted like, oh I want this doll from the store. My sister would be like, I'm not buying that for you because I'm gonna have to buy you two. And I'm like, yes. no we can share. But she's like, no I'd feel bad. And I'd have to buy you two. And that's like too expensive for me. Yeah. So you're not gonna get anything. We're also used to sharing. So that mm -hmm. doesn't help. Um, we'll be like at a party someone will give us like i don't know like granola bar or something and we'll just split it in half and they're like red moon we're gonna give you your own granola bar and i'm like no it's okay and like there's literally no reason you have to share like literally take one and i'm like no like i don't it could go to someone else like me and blue moon could just share yeah yeah we're really out here like taking a lunch break from filming like splitting a can of soup <laughs> like we ain't lying we should we're sharing this can of soup. <laughs> oh, ironically, we were just like, what do you want? Pick your soup. And we just share the same can. We can have our own soup. 
but we don't. Why? I don't know. <laughs> also, we share college debt. Sadly, we can't get any twin discounts for college, so we kind of got to suffer we asked. together. They said no. And another thing is, people kind of figure we entertain ourselves because we're just always sharing or like always in each other's presence. Mm -hmm. So we'll like, go out somewhere. We'll just kind of be like left alone because we're yeah. always like kind of with each other and talking to each other. So they go, oh, they're good. Like, yeah, they're fine. They, they don't, don't need, need my like, attention. Like, they don't need me to talk to them because they're fine. But if it was just me standing alone, right. like someone would come up and talk to me, but it's, if it's two of us standing like alone, people won't come up and talk. Like, they're good. I like using this analogy. Imagine us as being two islands in the middle of an ocean. Even though we're two people together, some might say, oh, it's not lonely at all, but you're still in the middle of an ocean with no one else around. So that's kind of the analogy I like to use to put it in perspective for other people. Cause like we hang with each other all the time like we're gonna run out of stuff to talk about and since no one really talked to us like a lot a lot growing up we just kind of stuck with each other especially in elementary school and preschool like I have old papers in like my little memory box of just teachers writing down their favorite activity and friend was playing with Red Moon <laughs> just staying <laughs> together all the time yeah. they're shy they need to branch out to other kids but yeah. talk to like your fellow twins out there right like, <laughs> even though we're telling you all these things that we are annoyed about you talking about like talk to us yeah that's the point of this video. Yeah. Treat us like average on people. Period. Now moving on to my favorite section. We're naming things that actually make us really mad, like actual pet peeves that we have a problem with. Let's start off with my least favorite. When I'm on Snapchat and I'm scrolling through the Snapchat stories, like on these ones right ones. here, those. There's always some twins on there dressing the same, mm -hmm. trying to get surgery to look the same. I hate that. Like acting the same, talking the same, like trying <laughs> to talk the same at least. Like you're making us all look like weirdos. Like, like stop. Like they can live their own life. I'm just saying like them being a stereotypical twin makes life harder for me yeah so like i hate seeing twins dress the same like sometimes it's cute mm -hmm. it's funny but like if you're like a grown adult and you're dressing the same all the time i just like don't agree with that like be your own person i don't understand like grown adults just do it like why would you want the same exact like article of clothing like why would you want the same life like there's twins that like try and get in their life to be like literally the same and it yeah. freaks me even me out and i'm a twin like yeah. just don't do it like you're your own person but i can't even play because like we said we share the same youtube channel so we do glorify being twins for clout mm -hmm. example i try not to do it but we made a video about being twins on tiktok mm -hmm. and it got a million views Ooh. in my whole youtube life i've only gotten up to like 700,000 or 800,000 like, views it's not never about numbers but are you serious never a million like a video that took 10 minutes to do and was about us exploiting each other for being twins like got a million views people just really are fascinated by twins. I'm not gonna complain because like people can choose to watch what they want mm -hmm. but I'm just like seriously seven years doing videos and a 10 minute TikTok is the one that got million views. Yeah but we can't even talk because we're exploiting ourselves right now in this video. <laughs> so, but it's not exploiting it's like we're just complaining. We can't even speak on twins dressing the same because we kind of we kind of yeah. dress the same like, like the, all because these we have similar interests when we were younger our mom never really dressed us the same but we were assigned like favorite colors mm -hmm. at birth so blue moon's color was blue yes and my color was pink yes so we kind of like diverged slightly off so pink is a lighter shade of red so I naturally was like, I want to change. I don't want to be like this color I was assigned to. Right. So I just went to red. All right. And blue <laughs> moon just went color? to green, which is blue and yellow together. Yeah. So technically we still have our assigned colors at birth. We just kind of changed it to be different. Yeah. And we just didn't branch out far enough. So example, A, B, C, D, like, we were in those colors all the time. Yeah. So besides all that complaining, some stuff people say to us a lot is, I wish I had a twin. Mm -hmm. And honestly, you wish you did. Because Blue Moon over here is pretty Y'all cool. got a sister that like has the exact same interests as you and you can kind of rant to them and talk to them whenever you want. But honestly, I feel bad for people who don't have twins. What's it like living life as a single, you know? Like as a, <laughs> a single, single person? Twin. <laughs> <laughs> What's it like being lonely? It can never be me. Except when Blue Moon dies. <laughs> don't die, please. We don't want to talk about that. No. We're not talking about that. You literally spent your whole life together. Mm -hmm. Like, how are you just gonna... How are you just gonna leave me like that? Exactly. Like, how are you gonna do that? I, I could never. But the biggest plus or pro about having a twin is that you have a friend for life. Like mm -hmm. we said, we're gonna dorm in college together and we're gonna go through just our college experience together and we won't really feel super lonely. Yeah. Unless your twins are enemies. Like every freaking movie or TV show oh, likes to portray that's twins. Thing? That's another pet peeve. I'm sorry we're going off again. <laughs> we're trying to wrap it up, but like, no, we're moving no. it back over. I am here. Shows that show twins as complete opposites kind of annoys me because it's not like super realistic. Of mm -hmm. course, like, there's twins that are 
different but like literally like that's uncommon like i know we're like five twins but they're all like similar they're never yeah. like completely different and like shows are one twin's a bad twin and one twin's a good twin <laughs> people ask that like who's the evil twin i'm like it's not funny. Funny. thank you for tuning in we hope you're nice to the next twins you meet. Yes. And I bet one of you are commenting, listing all the twins you know in the comments. I already know. Before we wrap up, here is the Japanese fact of the day or of this video. It is Futago. Futago. The name Futago. for twins. That's twins in Japanese. Futago. I learned that word by watching this great anime called Monster. It kind of does stereotypical twin things about having the twins be completely opposites, but it's a really good show and I recommend it. And that's how I learned that works. They repeat it so much because the whole premise revolved around the twins. So we talk about the twins. We can win the twins card too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I get it, you guys. Everything I complained about, I get. Yes. Thanks for watching us be hypocrites. And if you have any funny twin experiences, please share them in the comments below. Yeah. We got plenty, but we're not gonna go off in this video. Yeah. That could be a it's already video. too long. I think we made an OPS video about it right here. So if you yes. wanna watch, go ahead. Yes. Weird stuff happens. People are generally really freaked out by twins. Like, I literally don't understand why, but that's besides the point. Anyway. <laughs> Random, Random dance, dance party! party.